Hello nerds, welcome to the Post Credit Show. I'm your host Luge, this is Lockie. We are live and in a living colour on YouTube. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. How are we brother? How are you my friend? I am good. Good, good. We've got some Marvel news to get into today. What's your first story? Marvel magic baby, Marvel magic. What is the magic? So old man Kevin Feige. Yes. Come out with some big news. Tell me. Marvel, moving forward, will not be releasing now more than three films and two two TV series a year. Good. I like it. I think it's great. Sometimes less is more. Oversaturation, uh, oversaturating the market is a bad move. I agree. And I think Marvel have been criminal at doing that yep. at times. Yeah. I think that's a really smart move. I agree. There's a lot coming out as well, so there's you know there's plenty to go around. Yeah, they man. don't need to rush it. Take your time. Don't just bombard it. Don't bombard it. Just nice, nice slow burn as yeah, they say. Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently Marvel is now in talks with Dwayne The Rock no. Johnson no. to play Apocalypse. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Uh, the X-Men character last appeared in uh, 2016's X-Men Apocalypse and yep. was played by Oscar Isaac. Yep. Um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, I think that's a great move. I'd love to see it. Mate, he's got how many fans out there? Um, Not the Marvel. The millions <laughs> and millions. <laughs> anyway. Um, um, I've got filming for Shang-Chi 2. Oh, that, about time. That is locked and loaded. They're going to be starting in March 22, uh, 2025. That likely should run until around July, August. But that is locked in. Yeah, locked All up. actors have confirmed to return. Um, they've set the dates for it. It's ready to go. Yeah, I now, love that. Now you just got to wait a year. I'm a big fan of Shang Chi. I think um, you uh, I think it, Simu, you? Simu Liu is an exceptional choice. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to see what they do with the next. I think Shang Chi is one of those movies that a lot of people have forgotten happened. Well, it's going off the um, IMBD ratings. It's actually in the top ten. Yeah, yeah, uh, it as in, it should be. Yeah, I. I I, I think that's one of the first <laughs> movies that Marvel did that opened up the mythical door, the forbidden door, where they, they kind of started looking at the mythical elements of yeah, what yeah. we've already seen in the comic books in Marvel. Um, but hey, the Fantastic Four have cast their villain. Yes, they have. Galactus. Hell yeah. Who you Ralph got? Ralph Yeah. Yep. Uh, the British yep. actor with three decades of acting, last seen in Harry Potter. Okay. Can, can very, you, very excited to can, see what happens I, next. I'm not going to lie here. I've never heard of him. I have heard of him. Um, he's also in The First Omen, which is another uh, yeah, yeah. horror movie that's uh, a, a horror prequel that has, yep. uh, I think, uh, recently come out. But yeah, man, he he looks the part. I think it's going to be fantastic. I can't wait to see how they portray Galactus. Last time we saw Galactus, it was like a big weird cloud in the sky. Mm. And then you kind of like this big purple haze moving through the universe and the only real thing that we got that symbolized the Galactus from the comic books is yep. you see a shadow of Galactus's horns and helmet yeah, against yep. I think it was Pluto as he passes Pluto heading towards Earth <laughs> so that's going to be freaking awesome he's coming. He's coming thank God it's about time now Doctor Strange 3 we're going to obviously get a third installment of Doctor Strange now there's huge casting decisions still to be made but there's one at the moment that's very very close and that is Ryan Gosling to be playing, sorry, to be making an appearance as Ghost Rider. I wonder if they're going to be touching on that in the Deadpool Wolverine movie because well, yeah. we might see a couple of different variants of Ghost Rider too because there's other rumours about Ghost Rider which we don't really want to confirm or deny because we don't really know yet. We probably yes. won't know until after we've gone and seen the Pretty movie. Pretty much. But um, that's an interesting choice. I think that's a great choice. I think he yeah. would do really well in I it. I do. I just hope that he's he actually gets some screen time because yeah. the, the, the rumour is it's saying appearance. I'm really hoping it's more. Um, but massive actor, probably one of the biggest actors in the world at the moment. At the moment. Um, with, uh, especially with, after Barbie. <sighs> massive. He was so good in that. Ken. How good was he? Woof. Hey. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we know a little bit more about the Wolverine, uh, Deadpool Wolverine movie. Yes. So it is rumored synopsis. A uh, rumored synopsis for Deadpool Wolverine teases how the film will link to the MCU. Ooh. Not only will they be working to defeat a range of villains plaguing the Marvel universe, yes. but they'll gate crash existing Marvel Cinematic Universe franchises. <laughs> putting their own R-rated 20th Century Fox style twist on some of our favourite moments from phases one to four. Now, if you listened, mm -hmm. if you went back and listened to our Deadpool Wolverine trailer breakdown, yep. I called this. Mm -hmm. I called this and said that they are going to break everything and there yep. are a couple of things in there. I'll let you go back and have a listen to that. So maybe pause the video right now. Go have a listen. We'll wait.
You back? Did you listen? Yeah, cool. Thank See you. what I mean? Yeah, cool. cool. Um, very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I just can't wait for this movie. It's it's we're slowly crawling our way there, but it's still got a few months to go, which is a shame. But oh man, this is going to be a little over a month. What are we in now? May. When's it out? Like wasn't it July? Yeah. So like two months. Oh, so like six weeks. Mate. I can't wait. I think we need to put a countdown timer on. I think like, we. I might need to get <clears throat> get a countdown timer on the wall there, or even in the back there, so yep. when we're recording, people can see the countdown timer. <laughs> but yeah, hey, um, John Carlo Esposito, who the guy who played Gus in um, Breaking oh, Bad. Oh, Breaking Bad. Yes, yes. Freaking love him. He, Absolutely love and, him. And the Mandalorian. He was brilliant in that. He was so good. In he, that. Was he was so, so good, good in, that. in that. He has been cast in yes. a top secret MCU role. Now I did, and it's see not this. Professor X. I was just about to say because I've seen there's a lot of chatter about this. Oh, and who do you think he's going to play though, mate? I honestly, I kind of think he'd make a pretty kick-ass um, Magneto. Yeah, he's got the temperament for it. He's got such a good range as an actor. Oh, mate, Everything I'm such does. a fan. I'm such a fan of his. Everything he does turns to gold. Yeah. Um, such a huge fan. Such a huge fan. Chris Evans, right? Yeah. Rumoured to be returning as Captain America in a limited series on Disney Plus re revolving around him yep. returning the Infinity Stones just right after Endgame. Finally. Now... Because all we all we saw at the end of that film was obviously him going back in time, and then bang, he's sitting over there on the um on the on the on the on the on the, on the, ch on the chair, chair facing the, the facing yeah. the lake, and there's nothing in between. So and there's a lot of rumor. There's a lot of rumor and innuendo speculation, and we might even see some of this in Deadpool X Wolverine. Yep. Uh, there's rumor and speculation that when he when he goes back in his mind and 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 he mentions to Bucky. Um, that he doesn't want to talk about. You know, he's got that happy smirk. He's yeah, like, yeah. no, no, I think he, I won't. Yeah, he's content. He's. I don't think he's talking about Peggy Carter. What? I, I, I think there's something else coming. I, I don't know for sure. I've been researching this, but I don't know that he's talking about Peggy Carter. I think there's something else going on here that's, that's going to crack this universe wide open. Far out. So, so yeah, endless possibilities, man. Wait. It's can't just, oh, just hey, bring out this movie. Zac Efron. Also in negotiation with the MCU. Oh! I don't know where he fits into the puzzle, but um, great. Wow. Although, you know, I, like, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Zac Efron. I, well, um, likewise, yeah. You know, really feel sorry for him after what he's gone through with his jawbone. But, like, I, I, I do genuinely think that he is on the right track. Yep. He is moving in the right direction. Yep. Um, it's just a shame that he didn't have that chin when they were casting Thanos. <laughs> 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 Mate, you could cut butter with that thing. Far out. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'd love to see him in it. Um, he's, as you said, one of our favourites. He's so a brilliant actor, man. He really is. He really is. What, so, what else you got? Uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> you got nothing. I got zilch. Can I get a <laughs> yeah, that's me, mate. That is us for Marvel News this week, guys. We will be back very shortly with a News of the Week covering everything pop culture. Again, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. I've been Loosh. That's been Lockie. Say hi to your mum for me. Bye-bye.